Hello everyone, Rich from Flash Fixers here. Today I wanted to show you a new application for a chip off, which was kind of a challenge to me. Uh, what we had was a uh, uh, one of these uh, uh, ancient GPS uh, individual navigator units called an E-Trex from Garmin. The, uh, the E-Trex was uh, very popular in the day. It was released in the early 2000s. There were several models, uh, takeoffs from there. So the customer contacted Flash Fixers and said, you know, we, we don't have any uh, way to get our data. Uh, we put batteries in the unit. The batteries corroded. They leaked, uh, got inside the unit. It doesn't turn on anymore. Uh, and we've got hundreds and hundreds of waypoints in there that are, are no longer accessible to us. We, we put lots of man hours and I'll show you what these are. And they, they show a uh, uh, direction uh, and a uh, elevation. Here you can see that. So, so this customer had had uh, lost all these, and they wanted to know if it was possible to get it back. Well, the first thing I tried was uh, uh, as I'm thinking about how to do the data recovery on it was to get um, the first thing I tried was to get. Uh, a unit that I could replace the LCD and case. Uh, so I ordered two units, and this is what I usually do for new devices. One unit is uh, I keep pristine, I, I leave it functional, uh, take it apart, of course, to get to the circuit board to make uh, measurements, diode readings, uh, compare as, as the known good. And then I get a second unit, which is, is for parts, for experiments, uh, uh, things that I might need uh, uh, to be able to, to fix the original unit. Uh, so in this case, I took the uh, one of the units that I had and took it apart and uh, tried to first uh, put the uh, put this circuit board, and this is the modified circuit board, but this is I'm going to show you the original circuit board. This is the original circuit board. Uh, this is the memory chip that that is under the, the CPU. Uh, on the reverse side, uh, here's where the corrosion was. Now, it doesn't look that bad, but it got right into the uh, the, the layers. And uh, it. I, I thought with putting a, a voltage, you know, I, I did a power supply, Put it, used a, a, a DC power supply, put three volts across because it takes two uh, AA batteries. Uh, didn't turn on, didn't turn on with batteries. Um, I really didn't see any components that were uh, uh, water damage. This is not a case of water damage corroded components. This is like all centralized here. And it's possible something happened where, you know, something got shorted out or bad, um, uh, bad chip, but whatever, it, it did not turn on. So, my my choice then was uh, after you know a visual inspection and and trying to get it to work with putting fresh power to it and good screen was to take the chip off and that's what I did. This is the uh, the chip from the other device that uh, was removed, but this is a, 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 a pretty typical of the era 48 pin called TSOP uh, surface mount chip. Uh, put heat on both sides, uh, plenty of flux to be able to remove the chip, get it off, and and then just simply uh, swap the chips. Put this on my known good unit here. So put that, uh, that chip on the known good unit underneath this uh, insulator here. Kind of a unique construction, but the chip is, is under under here and there it is once I I put power to it it does a self check that came on and uh, I went navigated to the waypoints and was able to find all of the customers waypoints so not only did the unit work completely functional but now all the hundreds of waypoints that were taken before are also uh, available now to the customer. So it's a, it's a good uh, success story, data recovery. 
Um, if you are faced with your own, you know, unique device, I, I would try the same thing. Get two, uh, two devices. Um, work with one for parts. A second is a known good unit. And, and uh, try to make the original work. If not, you know, you're left with, with a chip off. Uh, and it was successful in this case. So good luck, uh, good day to recovery, everyone, and we'll see you soon.